morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and it's 9.43. I've been up for, well, I got up around 8 o'clock. I had my coffee. I uh, got the kids their breakfast and put a little laundry in. Oh, my phone's dinging. Anyways, I just thought I'd start my day with you guys. What the heck was that? Oh, my son. Well, he went to a friend's house after the party last night, if you watched my video. He's just messaging me now, so just hold on. Okay, his phone was about to die, or his iPad pod, so I got through. I said, I'll swing into town. I'll leave here in about an hour. He said, you can just come whenever. But I just want to get a few things done around the house, so this is kind of fuzzy. Just... Is that a little better? I think so. Yeah, anyways, he said the party was awesome. I can't wait to get all the details about it. Such a, a fun time for kids and stuff. But anyways, yes, had my coffee, fed the kids. My husband's still in bed. <laughs> he probably, I didn't even hear him when he got home. Uh, it had to have been after midnight, so I didn't even hear him when he crawled into bed. So he had a long drive and a long night, and yeah, I'm just going to let him sleep. It's all good. Um, but if you watched my video yesterday, I'd, you would have seen that I brought down, or I got a, another tub brought down from the attic of Halloween decorations. And I want to try to tackle that and get all my, you know, little creature feature things up and presented because they're screaming for attention and I want to get them, you know, stationed where I want them to be. So, um, in my kitchen, I usually have pumpkins and witches. In my bathroom downstairs, I usually have a ton of spiders. And then the rest of my stuff is just jarbled all over the house. But today, I want to try to tackle my kitchen. So, on my windowsill, the kitchen isn't all cleaned up. It's not terrible. Uh, I want to clear that off and put either witches or pumpkins on it. Get my counter all cleared off good. I want to clear off my bulletin board. <laughs> I want to take down that calendar that says December. How ridiculous is that? I When I first started doing that, I used to really keep up with it. And, you know, change it every month and all that stuff. And it's really cute. I just don't seem to be able to stay on top of it the past six months. And I think I'm going to take it down because I've got a hook set that I'm going to hang up over there to hang our aprons on. Right now, they're just hanging on tacks, holding that calendar up. So if... I can get, I think Medea has our electric drill thing, though. I'm not sure. Um, I want that to be hung up there so it'll look like I have my crap together around this house. <laughs> but, is that him again? Oh, yeah. He just said, yeah, that's fine, so that's good. If I can get that done, and then if I'm really ambitious to do on top of my fridge, we'll see how the how the story goes. Because I got a house full of little people, and you know you can only do so much stuff. But when I go into town today to pick up Marquise, I want to have a list of things that I want to get for the lights out party for Sunday. That's what I'm calling it now because the power company is shutting down the power from uh, 6 p.m. until 7. No, 7 p.m. Sunday night until 6 a.m. Monday morning. And uh, Medea's coming over here and Evie, because uh, Evan is fishing. And, yeah, we'll try to make it a nice little spooky party. And if we can hook up the generator so we can still watch a Halloween family fun movie, not a scary movie, we can make it a lights out party, I think. I think that's a good idea. Mally's just that's getting cool. up. <laughs> Yeah, when I got up today, it's uh, 9. That's what the the temperature is, like 9 above. I don't find it cold, but I'm a cold person. I like the cold. Mally thinks it's freezing, and I'm sure she would turn on the furnace if she could. Yes, I would. <laughs> I know you would. I would turn it to the highest setting. I know you would. I would just melt into a puddle if you turn the furnace on. But it's fine. She has a little pair of shorts on and a t-shirt. That's, that's her problem. But... Yeah, I want to get uh, get a list together of some things that I can make some nice snacks or treats or something like that. So, uh, it should be a good time. So anyways, I'm going to tackle that, um, yeah, just a minute, that windowsill right now and take all that stuff off and wipe it down and clean the window. And uh, 
then I'll pick out some decorations and show you what I'm going to put up there. All right, it's not all done yet. I just put that thing of stickers up on the window. And I know the lighting's off, but a bunch of pumpkins here. And my kitchen witch, that's always where she stands. And I keep my magic wand there all year round behind her. And I did this part of the counter, took everything out and wiped it down. And there's those pumpkin dishes I washed. And I just put this pumpkin on top of this little, this container thing. So I'm going to take all this stuff out and wash it and wash my sink. But before I do that, I have to go get my son. So I didn't get the chance to make a list, so I'm going to have to do a mental one. Um, but I did call the power company. I got all worked up for nothing, but I guess we're not going to be affected by this power outage. But if we still can, I think it would be fun to do a Halloween movie together as a family, because Medea will still be coming over for a sleepover and stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll still plan on that, but at least we won't lose power, and I can still do all the baths and braids and everything tomorrow, and it won't be a big deal. So, yeah, let's go get Marquise. Well, I was just about to leave, and I come out, and my husband's gone, but he just went down to that Sisabu coffee and brought me back a double shot in the dark. Woohoo! So, I brought it with me. And we'll head to town. I want to stop to the DS, the Dollarama. I call it the DS. And I call, if you guys are wondering, the big W is the Walmart. I don't think I'm stopping at Walmart, but I'm just explaining. Um, yeah, I like how my kitchen's coming along. I thought if I go to the dollar store, I'll see if there's some Halloween-y border I could tack on my bulletin board. Instead of it just being jarbled with bills and papers and forms and appointments and all that stuff that's collected over the past few months. I have to do that every few months. It's just summers, you know, everything slides during summer. I don't do what I normally do in the summertime. But now, I mean, yes, it is technically still summer. And yeah, I'm decorating for Halloween in summer. <laughs> Until the 21st, I think it is. But that's okay. That's what I want to do. And I'm getting things done. So yeah, let's go get Marquise and... I need to I need some deets on how the party went I really hope he said it went awesome but that's all he said so um, yeah he he was kind of in charge of the music like he made the playlist and he logged into his Spotify account and he had like a classic rock list I know and he had an R&B hip-hop list like from songs I would have listened to as a teenager and stuff so it was really good I know he said it said it uh, playing one morning when I went to school and it was blasting on our speaker thing downstairs. It was one of the videos that I was doing with you guys, I think, cleaning the house. It was it was really just like a flashback and uh, of course I couldn't put that music on my video because copyright stuff and whatever, but yeah, it made my cleaning and uh, housework a lot more enjoyable, so <laughs> I needed to set that up again sometime because I, I really got things done that day. Anyways, I'll check you when we get to town and uh, I'll let you know how things are going. All right, I'm at the Dollarama. What I'm listening to on the radio, it's on 98.9. It's Casey Kasem's Top 40 from the 1980s, so it's a really good playlist. <laughs> Just to listen to all the oldies, well, I remember listening to these as a kid and stuff like that. I was born in the 70s, but yeah, so to, you know, my kids, it would be the oldies. To me, it's like it reminds me of my childhood and stuff, the 80s, 80s and 90s. So anyways, let's go into the Dollarama and I'll, I'll bring you guys in. I'll see if I can film in there. If it's really packed, I don't really bring the camera out, but I'll show you the Halloween selection. So this is the Halloween aisle. Nobody's in here right now. They have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just going to check out some more kids' books if there's some that tickle my fancy. I'd like to do a Halloween craft box, but I won't do that until October. But they have a lot of stuff in here, too. So, yeah, it's so tempting. So tempting. Some makeup and costume stuff. Pretty cool. Okay, friends, it's 1.30. I was in town, picked my son up, we went and got the tables from the party, uh, been home, my husband had made sausages, they had cheese in them, that's what the kids had with sliced up cucumbers, garden fresh cucumbers, 
for lunch and I got a call from, I call him Grandpa, but his name's Stan down at Grandpa's place. It's just a like a store downtown here and he has an abundance of cucumbers he wants to get rid of so he said I can have them for free and he's going to have tomatoes next week. I haven't been on my canning kick lately but I'm just like I wanted to make mustard pickles. I haven't made them in a couple of years. Last time I made them it was with my mom. So I'm going to go see what he has and he said I can just have them. So let's go get some cukes and then we'll come back. I think Madea and Evie are coming over. Um, and I still have some more decorating to do. <laughs> it's a really nice day out. My husband just left. And, uh, oh gosh, I can barely touch the pedals. My son was driving. Um, it's a really beautiful day out. I should do some more laundry and hanging out, but I got a lot on the go. So it's all nice, but yeah, so let's go get some cute. Yeah, so it's just downtown here in the little village. And these guys are so nice. I have videos on when I picked up a bunch of cucumbers and tomatoes and I took the kids um, picking green beans from the garden and stuff. But <laughs> all right I'm in here look at all these beautiful cucumbers and grandpa over here he's letting me have them so we're gonna make a whole bunch of mustard pickles and dill pickles and uh, yeah very exciting. Now my teenager's home watching the kids and he wanted me to stop down to the store here so I'm parking over here but look at the river. It's not high, it's not low, it's right in the middle. I don't know if it's coming in or out. But what a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful. So just going over to that store over there and pick him who wants some sort of iced tea drink or something and a chocolate bar so yeah. Okay friends, I know my kitchen's a little loud because I got the dishwasher going and my fan's going. But I'll show you what I got at the Dollarama quickly. So I did get another book. It's a sticker story book. Corduroy the Bear. I didn't read it, but that'll go in our collection. Yes, just a nice cute little story. I got this little platter. I think I had one before, but I don't know where it is. I thought just for serving up some stuff um, during the movie thing. And I got a bag of cheesies. I got this cute little bowl. It's just plastic, but it looks like spider webs all over it. I could put the cheesies in. These are little battery-operated candle things. I got a thing of Q-tips. I got this leaf wreath thing and a garland. This is a little lamp. It has one of those little candle things in it, but I thought I'd set that up. And I got the little kids each of their own little Halloween cup. A pumpkin, a skeleton, a kitty cat, and an owl. So that's what I got at the dollar store. I'll show you what I got at Sobeys here in a second. I just got done doing that. Nothing fancy, but it makes it a little more festive, I guess. Better than it was. Um, so what I got at Sobeys was a big thing of baguette bread. Uh, because I'm going to make bruschetta tomorrow. And I usually buy it fresh, but they didn't have any. So I bought this. I got a thing of butter. And a thing of eggs. That's what I got. Um, so that'll go along with the movie. With the cheesies. 
and maybe some popcorn or something like that. Uh, and we just needed some more eggs and butter. So, yeah, I'll just put this stuff away till tomorrow. And yeah, I gotta figure out if I'm gonna do those pickles tonight. I'd make dill pickles or mustard pickles. I don't have the supplies for mustard pickles. So, whatever small pickles that are out there, or small cucumbers. I'd sort through those, wash them, and soak them overnight with alum or um, pickle crisp I think I have. I think that's what I ended up using last year because I didn't have any alum. And dill pickles are so easy to make. I usually make some straight up dill and some are like garlic dill, but I don't have any garlic either. But this way it would use them up. And he was offering me tomatoes. I said, well, I got to deal with deal with these cucumbers first he's like he'll have oodles more next week I said well I'm not gonna do nearly as many as I did last year because I canned almost 400 pounds of tomatoes sauce and whole tomatoes and stuff but I do want to make some salsa uh, so that'll probably have to wait till next week or something like that if he still has some but that was so generous of them to think of me to because they know I can right and I'm the one that uh, ravished their garden last year when they had an abundance of stuff. He called a couple weeks ago to say he had beans, but I said I don't need any beans. I still have a lot canned in the basement. Um, but yeah, I don't mind scooping up deals when I can. Even if he was selling them, uh, he doesn't ever sell them very cheap, so people can go buy, buy some from him. But yeah, very exciting about those cucumbers. I wasn't expecting that, so yeah. I'll have uh, a little more of a stockpile for this winter. It's all good. Oh yeah, I got this pumpkin, glass pumpkin, I don't know, last week at the dollar store. And I thought I'd put some Q-tips in it for the bathroom. So that's what I'm going to do now. These are $1.25 and I was about to put these away. I'm like, well, I might as well just put them in the pumpkin now and it'll be ready to go, even though I haven't decorated the bathroom yet. But I will get to it. Probably not today, but I will get to it. Ta-da! Cute. I know you're not supposed to clean your ears every day, but I know that's a weakness of mine. I clean my ears every day. <laughs> I can't help it. So we go through a lot of Q-tips. So yeah, at least it's in a pumpkin now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is deal with that corner. And I don't know if you've ever noticed, I have these like this rope material. I usually hang, these are just little clothespins. They just happen to be Christmas ones. But I just have a rock hanging from the bottom so it's not all flimsy. It hangs nice and tight. This one has a shell. So uh, I'm going to take these pictures off and I cherish them. I keep some of them for a long time. Other ones I get rid of. You know, I can't keep all the kids stuff. But I'm going to clear those off to make way for fall pictures that they make and bring home or make here. And I'm going to take down this calendar and stuff. So this is the shelf thing. Let me get it. This is the shelf thing I've had for over a month that I've been meaning to get up there, but I don't know if it'll get up today, but at least that area will be cleared away. All right, guys, I'm conflicted. I took that down and hung that up just with a couple of tacks because um, I was thinking I'd put those hooks there, but then I got to thinking I could put the hooks here. I gotta take this down because this space isn't really used for much. And that way the aprons could be over here. And yeah, I'm thinking I might put that, yeah. I think I might put the hooks here. What do you think? Okay, my next order of business is to tackle here. These are all clean pants and things. It's just, it's hard to stick them away when we're using them all the time, but it's time, Tracy, it's time. Because pretty soon we'll have to start making wood fires. So this is what I'm going to tackle. Take a good gander. All right, friends, it's 3.59, so i got to start thinking about supper. I didn't get to the top of my fridge, and I probably won't today because I'm not digging it right now. But what I think I'm going to do for supper is just make sweet and sour meatballs in a pot of rice because we haven't had that in a long time, and the kids like it. And i got a package of hamburger to use up, so yeah. I did finish here. I didn't get a chance to wipe it all down yet, but... I sorted the pots and pans. I actually threw out a few. And uh, yeah, much better though, much better. But this is the hamburger. I'm just gonna make little meatballs and bake them in the oven at 350 for about an hour or so. And I'll whip up a homemade sauce and a pot of Batsmati rice. Easy peasy.
So there's the meatballs. I try to squeeze them all onto one pan. This is regular hamburger, so these are going to shrink up a lot. And uh, yeah, I just kept it simple. I didn't season the meat or anything, but it's going to be coated with uh, sweet and sour sauce, so it's all good. I'm going to pop these in the oven, disinfect my table, and then get the pot of rice going. All right, I just put it on the stove. That's just the oven coming up to heat. But I do have a video, an old video, on how I make Botsmati rice. If you want to see it, I'll try to remember to put it down in the description box down below. Super easy. It's the only kind of rice I ever make is Botsmati. It's so good. So good. So, uh, yeah, I learned about Botsmati rice years ago when I lived in Halifax. And I volunteered for Christians for Refugees. And I got to know this wonderful family from Afghanistan. It was a mother with four, five children. And uh, that's what she made, and I had never had Botsmati rice before, and it was delicious. And she'd always put saffron in it. I don't have saffron, but it was so good, so good. So, anyways, once I had Botsmati rice, that was it for me. I just got off the phone with Audible. When I, since I got my new phone, I put the Audible app on my phone, and none of my library, I have like 100 books on Audible, would show up. And they, I contacted them the day I got my phone, and said about it they were very nice they responded promptly and they said well try in 48 hours it should show up today's 48 hours it still wasn't showing up so I actually called them and the lady was very nice and um, yeah I guess it, it switched over to .ca which is Canada but I have an account with the .com part of it so we got it all switched around and uh, yeah I got all my books back yay so, yeah, anyways, I just had to share my excitement. <laughs> but that rice is over there now. It's off the heat. I have to leave it covered for about 20 minutes. The meatballs are in the oven. So I'm going to start whipping up a sauce. I need to dig out the stuff. I'm keeping it real simple, guys. Just some ketchup. And I'd use sugar normally, but I'm using some stevia um, and vinegar. And I'll put a bit of soy sauce in it and that's about it it's real easy so yeah let me dig the stuff up. well i don't think i have any soy sauce so it's that's okay but this is the stevia i use in my coffee i put a teaspoon um and it's raw it's good it's sweet like sugar i'm going to use sugar free or no sugar added ketchup and just some white vinegar and sorry my battery died yeah, I'll put a little bit of salt in it because I don't have any soy sauce. Means you got to back up. The stove is hot. Well, the sauce is almost done. I used a teaspoon of psyllium husk in here just to thicken it up a smidgen. You can taste it when it's done, Maze. So, yeah. Still, the timer is 16 minutes for the meatballs, but it's all good. What time is it? 4.55, so not bad. All right, friends. Well, I just fluffed the rice. It looks good. Meatballs just came out of the oven. They look fine to me. So I'm just going to quickly put them all into the pot. Oh. Should I use? These are great big giant pots. Maybe I'll just use it. added all the meatballs I'm just gonna mix it up and just uh, let it sit a couple of minutes and then I'll get the dishes out and we'll load it up if I had another package of hamburger I probably would have did two but that's okay I'll make yeah, it work two, I'll make it work, work. alright I'm gonna start dishing out supper this will be Maze's now Maze and Misha have been eating crackers with jelly on them about a half hour ago, maybe not even that. So I don't know how hungry they're gonna be. And I'm not gonna put a ton of sauce on his because he might not like it. Same with Misha, she only likes a tiny, tiny bit of sauce, but she does like rice. A couple of meatballs. Yeah, usually my sauce is a bit darker, but I just didn't have the soy sauce to make it look darker. But that's okay. I tasted it. It tastes okay. Now I can have these meatballs. I just won't have the rice. Mm. And Messiah likes it all, so it's all good. It's all good, Messiah. Do you like rice? Yeah. 
You'd rather enjoy rice. Edit that out. Oh, I lost the meatball. The meatball that ran away? Yeah. On top of spaghetti. This one will be Mally's. And Marquis can eat the rest of the rice if he wants to. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I kind of overdid it with the sauce, but that's okay. Is that mine? No, it's Mally's. There you go. Alright friends, well I just got done cleaning up, wiping my camera off. The dishwasher I just turned on, there's still a pot that didn't fit in there, but that's okay. I'll get it going after. It's 6.05, so not doing too bad. You see this picture? That's Marquise when he was about Maze's age. Don't they look pretty similar? He used to have long hair too. Yeah, anyways, I just got off the phone with my dad, and um, he's going to come out. He's like, I have some treats for the kids. I just want to make sure you're home. I said, well, we're home. I'm not going anywhere. So, oh, I'm just going to sit down and have a little rest, and uh, yeah, wait on my dad, because I can't wait to see him. I miss him. I love him. Hey, guys, I got a red shirt on. <laughs> now, a lot of you want to see me in color sometime. And my dad just left, and I guess my sister sent out some clothes. Just a couple t-shirts and some tank tops, and a red one was in it. It has a zipper at the top, which is pretty cool, so I might try and wear this sometime with some blue jeans. I hear the phone ring in just a sec. Yeah, that was my husband. He's on his way home now. So yeah, it's 8 o'clock. My kitchen's all cleaned up, which feels really good. I'm on top of my game today, and the kids are out there. They're fine. I put the itty-bitties to bed. And, uh, yes, I'm kind of getting excited for tomorrow. I invited my dad to come out and stay because he will have the power off. But he's like, no, Trace, I know I have stuff here. I can cook on my Coleman stove if I need something. And I said, well, if you change your mind, I'll have a bed here for him. But it would have to be, you know, a catastrophe for him to stay overnight anywhere except his house. But the invitation's always there, you know. But he had a nice visit with the kids. He stayed about an hour or so. He brought some treats out, of course. He brought some cheesies, which the kids have already eaten. He brought a thing of bear paws. He brought some puddings the kids already ate. He bought some lollipops. Papa. Some Skittles. And some microwave popcorn. So we'll save that popcorn for tomorrow. And that candy I'm going to have to hide away because I don't need any more sweets tonight, I can tell you that. But, yeah, we're not opening the candy. No, Mally. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I'm just going to get sorted here and I'll be back a little bit. Okay, friends, well, it's 9.48 and I'm just getting the kids to bed now. I need to get back on track with getting them to bed earlier, but <laughs> Maze has been asleep, Mazai is asleep. Misha and Mally are fighting sleep, but their their butts are going to bed. So I'm gonna sit down at the computer and get get this get this rolling and stuff. So I'll bid you uh, good night or good morning, and say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But no pressure, no worries. You certainly don't have to. No hard feelings here. Not ever, ever, ever. But yeah, stop back tomorrow if you. We're looking for something to do because we're going to be prepping for the lights out party, even though there's not going to be no lights out here at our house. But I want to make some cupcakes, I think. We're going to make some bruschetta. There's going to be cheesies, some spooky decorations. We'll probably watch Halloween Town and just have a good time. A good time. And you guys are invited too. So, yeah, I hope you look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, I'll make sure that you're there or, you know, some of you can be there if you can. And uh, we'll have a nice big party together. Okay, guys, have a good night or a good morning. And I'll see you later. Bye. Boink.